we got dev blog end game update right here so if you guys haven't read it let's just let's just take a look this is 13 hours ago so this is like last night um thank you for all the continued feedback on the systems okay so what i already like is that they're being they're communicating with us you know that's a thumbs up that's two thumbs up that's that's awesome like we, they had an idea we had a lot of players have a lot of feedback and they said all right thanks for your feedback you know um, whenever possible, we want to share upcoming changes and discuss them with you so we can build a better game together. That's cool. Like, that's dope. Like, cool, Amazon. Uh, your feedback on the system has greatly improved the direction, so thank you again. Before diving in, I want to be clear that we are dedicated to not reducing the power of players in the world other than cases addressing bugs and imbalance problems. The rest of this post details how we're achieving that while retaining the benefits of the expertise and ships some system. Okay, so basically... They want to put in gypsum, but not make it feel like they dicked anyone over, right? Like, they want to make it feel like someone didn't just, just lose a lot of power or get completely dicked over by leveling professions. And yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that's that's probably a good idea. Um, so the big change. In early 2022, when we start reducing the effectiveness of your gear to your expertise level, we will exempt the following items. Any item you craft any item you earn from a quest, and any item you purchase from the faction shop. So if you craft an item, you don't need expertise. Now, once again, like I think this is a good change, but it's just confusing to a new player, right? Like it's just so confusing. It's like, oh, I have an expertise level. Oh, but don't worry. If you got it from a quest, it doesn't matter. Like, is it gonna show in game? Is it like, Oh, don't worry if you craft something it doesn't matter it's just it's just a janky solution that's confusing i i like it don't get me wrong it's it's a great so it's a it's a solution it's just janky you know what i mean when these changes are implemented gear score scaling will only apply to items sold or traded after the patch so you're if you buy an item from the trading post it's going to scale to your expertise um, or, you know, a number between your expertise, which we'll get here to in a second. If you trade it, it'll scale to your expertise. If you get it from a drop, it'll scale to your expertise. But not if you craft it. Like, you, you know what I mean? It just feels confusing. Um, any items obtained prior to this patch, so right now, will not be impacted or reduced in any way. So, basically, they're making it um, not... They're making it proactive, right? Not retroactive. Like it's not going back. Um, it's 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 only going forward. So if you have 600 gear score items, they're they're gonna work the way they are supposed to work. They're not gonna get weaker because it's it's only going forward, right? They're not gonna punish players that didn't have the system um, in the first place. So once again, I it's it I, I'm happy. I guess my only problem with it is like it's just confusing. Okay, so if I had it before a certain date. Or if I craft it, you know, it's like, it's just confusing. You know, as a new player, it's just like, what is going on, right? I just think there could be a much more straightforward solution, like adding an expertise skill in the game that you level up and it's just one expertise level and your items that drop, drop based on that expertise level, period. You know what I mean? It's just, it does, it, it's not seamless. When we thought about it more, reducing power for existing players is not acceptable and something we will not do. I mean, that's great. I'm, I'm very happy about that. We initially thought it would only be temporary and giving a new path to, with gain back that power with chips and would be acceptable, but it is now clear we were wrong. Yeah, cool. I mean, you know what I like too is the humility. Like, we were wrong. This is a hard sentence to type out. You know what I mean? Like, that's cool. Like, I like that. Like, yeah. Um, the updated system will give players alternative ways to equip themselves if they don't want to engage in the expertise system. Um, at all, right? So like crafting especially will gain even more importance in New World since any item you craft will be usable at the gear score regardless of expertise. Now this is what's confusing to me. Like I don't I'm not saying I dislike it. It's just like so why would you why would you play endgame at all? And when I say endgame, I mean you know dungeons, trains, um elite chess, stuff like that. And end game PvE if you can just craft and not have to worry about expertise at all. So they're creating an entire new system and giving you a way to sidestep it with crafting. So, ah, 
Like, I like it. It's better. It, like, this is better. But it just feels janky and weird. Right? Um, yeah. Quest and faction shop items will be other alternatives to good gear. And both are things that we can continue to introduce more in the future. Okay, cool. We acknowledge this change will create a difference between the way the game worked before and the change after. We recognize that some players who haven't hit 60 yet and acquired their gear may feel like the game got harder for them. Hopefully this offset the additional chips in as a new avenue for players that have. In addition, we'll implement the gear scaling. We will now re only reduce to your effectiveness in the middle of your expertise in your items gear score. So, if your expert, if your expertise on a musket is 520, you buy a 600 musket off the market, your effective GS will be 560. It goes in between. Once again, I like it. It makes expertise not as important. This is the, the right direction, but it's just confusing for a new player. Like all of this is so confusing, right? It's 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 a good change. I'm happy with the direction of all of this. This is all amazing. It's like expertise matters less. You know, um it's it's not going to impact crafting. Like this is all good. It's just man, it's just like it's so janky. This combined with getting used to all the perks should create a good value in the marketplace for future users. December tuning and balance adjustments. So they're reducing the cost to craft from a hundred to two and a half coins, um, and then 475 to five for the casts, which is probably a good idea. This is super expensive, so that's that's great. Um, they're reducing crafting ingredients to make this a little bit easier to craft. They're reducing the cooldown timers to 18 hours, so there's more leeway in schedules, which is great. Um, and it's actually pretty cool. They're adding in a, a system um, they, they're talking about here but a little bit later in the future, that is basically going to add a global cooldown, kind of like WoW, where like they reset every day at 9 a.m. or whatever, so that you can just, um, you can just play the game and you have this chest up every day at the same time versus like this weird janky, like 23 hours chest respawn, 18 hours this, they're just gonna add in a global system, which is way better. And they said they're gonna work on it, but it's just not a high priority currently with all the other stuff with server merges and whatever um so they're doing they're making expertise bumps a little more flatlined so instead of like so rng they're making it a bit more flatlined so the bumps are the min and max of the bumps are going to be a bit more flatlined which is nice and then they're moving chips and rewards from cash to event so from outpost rush right now people were hoarding their outpost rush caches so that on patch day they could just open up and have like infinite gypsum they're making it so you get the reward from the event itself, not the cash. So basically, you can't hoard out OPR um, caches. So overall, like like two thumbs up, man. I'm excited. Like this is all good. It like my only concern, and as a player that follows games closely, I have no issues for myself. This is awesome for me. But I'm not I'm not thinking about me. I'm thinking about other players, new players, how the game will grow, and. From my experience, having a game that's 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 really easily understood, all the systems are like, just make sense is awesome, right? But having a, systems that are just confusing, um, it's 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 hard for players to understand if you're a casual or if you're new. It's like, wait, what do I do? Oh, wait, I I need do I need expertise or not? Like it's it's just confusing, right? So, I like. I like the direction they're going. I think they could do it in a better way. And maybe just having an attribute or a trade skill that just said expertise and you level it from one to 200 and the gear score of your items dropped based on that expertise rating. Um, this seems like like an easier, yeah, it's an easier way to do it. Basically you just show watermark. I don't, I, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's the new update. There it is.